Uh, the Watch is a short film that deals with uh, basically relationships to me and how you can help another person. It uh, has to do with uh, an individual uh, named Mason who has a rich history. He was part of the civil rights movement in this country and he has a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge and he's always passed that along. I mean we have a person, Nate, who's at the top of his game, high-end lawyer, and one conversation with his doctor takes him down completely to a different level, at least internally. It's the meeting of these two individuals and how Mason is able to help Nate uh, choose a different path or, or see life in a different way. One of the things that uh, really makes this project uh, great is the cast and crew associated with it. We have top-notch talent. And it's funny how the story came about because I've been a big fan of Tucker Smallwood uh, for many years. And I've watched him in movies like Deep Impact and in Contact where he played opposite Jodie Foster in it. So I thought about him for the role of Mason and I said, well, why not reach out? So I, re uh, I did that. I, I reached out to his manager. And it was right around the holiday season, so I sent the email and I got the automated response back saying, well, our offices are closed. So I said, well, I probably won't hear anything till after the first of the year. Well, that very same day, I got an email from Tucker Smallwood saying, I'm interested in the project. Tell me about it. Apparently his manager had forwarded that email to him and we struck up a conversation. I sent him the script. He said he was taken with the writing, which for me meant so much. And he said he wanted to be a part of the project. I think I want to just tell Roger's story. I think it's a lovely story. And um, I think the themes are important. A dramatic way to relate to and to refer to some of our history is um, perhaps a way to draw someone who's 16 or 17 today who sees this, say, let me find out more about that. Hmm, that was deep. Because it is deep. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have to come at large ideas in an oblique way. I hope people walk away from this with the idea that they can help other people. That no matter what your background is, ethnic background, your skin color, we're all part of the same human family and that you use your life's experience to help other people. Any day can be your last day. We know it intellectually. We don't really know it. And that's one of the subplots about this, I think, that I responded to. The pure uncertainty of life, the whimsical quality of life, the, the you know, the, the irony, the, the unfairness, we kind of take it for granted, and every now and then reaches up and smacks us in the face. And says, oh, by the way, <laughs> and I like, I like projects that pull coattails like that. I think, you know, uh, I, I I have a what do you call it a signature on my email when it works. It says um, Carpe Diem, and um, you know, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. So, uh, any support for the film? in that way, whether it be financial or just getting behind us by word of mouth, uh, getting it out there would be tremendous. The goals for the watch are uh, set very high. I think with the cast and crew that we have put together, the talent we have associated with this film, um, we are well prepared to enter into the large film festivals like Sundance or Tribeca, Cannes, and the possibility of qualifying for an Academy Award nomination for the uh, short film categories. I really want to thank you for the time you've taken to look at this interview and to consider supporting uh, The Watch uh, and independent film in general. Uh, it's important, it's, it's an artistic avenue for a lot of filmmakers, and from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you very much.